my late grandfather, he'd always sing at the top of his lungs, shaking all over. And every time I heard that, I'd go, and this was before I was really into the, you know, playing in bands and doing things. And I'd go, where did this song come from? He goes, that Normie Road, check him out. That's a serious bloody watch, mate. It, looks, <laughs> it is a serious watch. Future. Thank you very it's much to the Tesla organisation yeah. who who um, made it. It will take us into the future and we can look at how successful your album <laughs> is across the world on Spotify, yeah. Nullify. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it was um, Australia Day this year, yes. wasn't it? It was a... Uh, through through a, a mutual friend, Rosie, who um, I have... I have a severe love for, I've got to say, Rosie um, Conforto. Uh, I, her work ethic is like none I've ever seen, nobody's I, I've ever seen. She is just terrific. Aaron and Rosie came to the Australia Day out of work musician picnic. <laughs> I looked around and on the stage was this young fellow with a, a black 335? Three, three, yeah, 345. 345. Um, Gibson, and um, he was playing up a storm. And I, I really love to see good young players. It, it, it encourages me. That song I wrote a little while ago, I found it on you know, the phone recordings. And I remember writing it about going back to being, being a musician. You, it, unfortunately, you get this um, stereotypical image. You're a musician, you're an alcoholic, you're a a junkie, you're a, um, you get up at two o'clock in the afternoon. Sex, drug and rock and roll. Correct. <laughs> but, uh, in saying that, um, yeah, it, it was something that I, uh, I it didn't sit with, well with me, because, you know, I mean, I, I'd like to think that I work hard at what I do. Um, so yeah, that's how that song came about. Um, I tended to feel it was a young person's song, which is great, you know, it's, uh, what I loved about it that is quite unusual is that one person actually wrote the song, not like a, you know, a Taylor Swift or a, they, they have about 19 songwriters and they all pitch a line and but they get, yeah, that'll be a good line and at the end of it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, and it's lineal. It's not, it's not a patchwork of, mm. of different ideas. And that's what Aaron has written with this song. And I'm really looking forward to hearing all the rest of the material that he's, uh, that he's put together. It's gonna to be very interesting. And I hope it also inspires other young writers to, to go ahead and uh, you know, bite the bullet and get into doing stuff like this and perhaps um, recreating the industry as it needs to be uh, recreated every Every seven years, it, it turned seventy um, well, in Feb. Feb. Yeah, and you know, and it, even today, he's just singing. I think better than ever, and I, it was a no-brainer to get Normie into to do that that, oh. that track. Thank you, Sam. That's right, mate. I'll give you the money later. <laughs> no, I'll give no, you, you the give money. The <laughs> <laughs> One of the great things is to know that our industry is in your good hands, and the, the hands of your colleagues, whether you know them or not, right across Australia. <laughs> On your mate. Now I'm going into the Go. future. Yeah. <laughs>